Let's look at a scenario where we've got a simple form to allow a visitor to a website to request details about a product. So we've got this one form, we might have um, 10, 20, I don't know, however many products or services on our website. We don't want to have to create a survey for every single one of those, but what we can do is use the one survey and we can embed the code for the survey onto our web page, but we can use a parameter to pass through the context back um, to allow us to use that for things like putting in a new lead and using that as the topic so that we know exactly which page the visitor was on when they filled out that form. So we've got a very basic form. Uh, we've got first name, last name and email address. So we're going to go ahead and click on the send survey tab and we're going to click on embed. Now what this will allow us to do is we're going to have the inline embed option if we look down here, we've got the ability to select parameters to add into that embed code. So by default, we've got the fields that we've actually um, that we've got. We've got the URL that the visitor um, was on. But what we can also do is we can pass back further information and create a new custom parameter. So I'm going to put in product page and I'm going to go ahead and click on add. So you can see there that that selected that parameter. Now, if I generate the code, uh, I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm just going to put it into Notepad so you can see um, what it's done is it's taken that parameter that I've added and it's it's put it into the code. All right, so we're going to go ahead and actually look at putting it into a website. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to go here where I've already put in the code. This part is the code that is generated and the script that's given to you by Forms Pro. So that's that first part. Now, if you look at my website, meganvwalker.com or search in this YouTube channel, you'll see that there's already a video that I've created that shows how to embed and the process of embedding this into a website. This is the part that we're, we're adding in is this div, which is the survey div. Now, this is the part of the code where what we need to do is we need to add in this new parameter that we've created for the product page but here is where we put in what the specific product is so let's say that I've already got this in another page for product B I'm putting this in now to product C's page so I'm just going to go ahead oh, if I type in the right place I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that into the code and I'm going to go ahead and update that page all right so once we've finished updating let's save it Okay, perfect. All right, now if I go ahead and let's refresh this page. And we'll go ahead and we'll fill this out. All right, so we're going to put in Sammy Smalls. and we'll go ahead and submit that form. Okay, perfect, so we've we've completed that. Now, if we go into Dynamics 365 CRM, what we'll see is, and these ones that we've done, I've done previously, what we're gonna see is the context data is captured, regardless of whether we've got in um, any additional parameters or not, it's going to capture that. But what we'll see here is we've got the ability to capture that context from that specific parameter. Now we're going to need this, so we're going to come back to this. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. We're going to come back to this in just a moment um, as we go through and we'll create a forms, uh, we'll create a Microsoft flow that will allow us to take that Forms Pro survey response and then go ahead and actually create a new lead. So let's go ahead into flow and we'll have a look at the uh, Microsoft Flow that I've already created. So we'll have a look and walk through the steps and so you can see how that we can set this up to get the response and then create a new lead. So we've got our request for information. Now, the survey, sorry, the flow starts off as the trigger from a common data service when a new record is created. So the new record that's created is the entity of survey responses. The scope is organization. The next action that we'll add is the only action that's available from the Microsoft Forms, not Forms Pro, but the Microsoft Forms connector, and that's to basically 
um, do something once the response comes back through. So when the response from your specific form, and that's the name of your survey, when that comes through, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get the response ID. Now this is expecting an integer so we need to use this code which you can find on the bl corresponding blog for this and that's at meganvwalker.com. So we're basically saying um, change this into an integer and this is the Microsoft Forms Pro source response identifier. So that's the identifier from this step up here. Alright so once we've done that now what we need to do is we need to um, pass through that context data and then go ahead and allow us to grab the string from that product page, product page parameter. Now the first thing that we do is up here this content um, we're taking this, if we just type in context data, that's from when the server response is created, we want the context data. Now, here's what we need to do for this part. So if I go back in here, and we can see this embed context parameters product page, product A. Now we can get, I wonder if I can copy this, I don't think I can, but it's going to be on the web page so you can grab it from there. But this whole string right here, you're going to copy this and you're basically going to click to use the sample payload to generate the schema and you're going to paste it in here. When you paste it in here it is going to create this for you so you don't need to um, come in and try and type all of this stuff you're just basically going to take it from my website copy it and paste it in in this section right here you just paste it in there click done and it will generate that for you. What that does is every single time that parameters is um, is populated because somebody filled out the survey it's going to grab whatever was on in that product page parameter so whether that's product A, product B, product C it's going to get that for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the common data service um, action again and this time we're going to do create new record and we're going to create a lead. Now what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to use the get response details step and populate into the lead record the last name, the first name and the email address and whatever else you might have captured from your form. The topic we're going to do product interest and then we're going to use that um, uh, pass JSON step and we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull in the product page. So we'll see product interest, product A, product B, product C and so on. Okay. Um, then what we're going to do is just to kind of complete and round this off we're going to link that um, survey response that was created and that first trigger step and we're going to update it and we're going to populate it with this, a, a subject um, so that again that server response is clearly identifiable that this, the server response the subject is request for information and then again we're going to use that product page name from the um, past JSON step. The record identifier is an activity ID so if I just type in activity you can see there that's the survey response created it's the unique identifier of the activity because that's what the survey responses are there are activities. If I scroll down further there's a respondent field which is just text and that we're putting in the first name and the last name of the person and there's a respondent email address and we're going to fill that in and then right down at the bottom the regarding we're going to set it regarding the lead that we just created in our create new lead step and the regarding type is leads. Okay so that's our full flow now if I go back in and I just do a refresh um, of this. What we should see is the last one that we've just filled out. Yes, perfect. So there is a request for information, product C. So that's the, the subject that's been added to that survey response. We can see there the context data shows product C and it's set regarding to the lead. So if I go into the lead record, we can see here the product, sorry, the topic is product interest, product C and we've got Sammy's name populated in there and then there's his email address and we can see from the timeline that's that survey response that was created. So 
great way to be able to um, create new leads or gather information and know exactly which page that somebody came from or which product or which service or whatever it is that that the um, survey was related to or you could think about f um, having stuff filled out for um, event feedback that sort of thing so that you're passing through the actual event name so there's lots of different ways that you could certainly achieve this but this is this is one to be able to add in those new parameters and then be able to pass that context back through and use it in your Microsoft flows. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.